did a video a while back on why you should probably stop using CCleaner. And that's advice that we stand by. But did you know that now Microsoft has widely distributed its own app simply called PC Manager? And no, this isn't a soccer coach who's very concerned about not offending anyone during press interviews. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. PC Manager is Microsoft's answer to CCleaner and other PC cleaning utilities. And although it's actually been around since 2022, it was just recently released for all Windows users. So what are the main features and would we recommend trying it out? PC Manager attempts to be a many things in one type of program. The most prominently displayed feature is PC Boost, which clears up space used by temporary files and terminates some unnecessary processes to free up part of your RAM. There's also a Smart Boost feature you can set that performs these functions automatically once your overall RAM usage or disk usage from temporary files hit certain thresholds. Speaking of freeing up space, there's also a Deep Cleanup function that lets you drill down a bit more and choose different kinds of unnecessary files to delete, including cached data from non-Microsoft programs. You also get Health Check, another easy way to clear space and manage your startup programs in case unwanted crap keeps popping popping up when you boot up your PC. And another option that lets you see running programs and easily terminate them, as well as a more granular startup programs menu. Over on the left side, you'll see a protection tab that gives you more specific options for virus scanning, system updates, controlling your default browser and apps, pop-up blocking for certain applications, and something called taskbar repair, which really just disables any third-party taskbar extensions you might have installed and gives you options to re-enable some default Windows features you may have turned off, such as the search box. The storage tab lets you quickly display all large files on your system, set by default to mean anything larger than 10 megabytes, and purge anything you don't want, while also providing similar functionality for duplicate files. There are also shortcuts to your downloads into the Storage Sense feature, which automatically deletes temporary files. Apps basically just copies the same functionality from the home menu and adds a couple of links to the Microsoft Store and the Settings app, and Toolbox displays shortcuts to certain programs like Notepad and Calculator. And annoyingly, tries to encourage you to use Microsoft web tools like Bing Translator. There's also an option for a quick access toolbar that replicates this functionality in a smaller window while also providing a shortcut to that PC boost function we mentioned earlier. But we actually had issues with it on our own end when playing full screen games as the system kept trying to keep that toolbar in the foreground. Now, are you noticing a pattern here? If not, we'll tell you what it is right after we thank MSI for sponsoring this video. Hey, you know what would step up your gaming sessions and look great doing it? The MSI Vision Elite RS Gaming Desktop. With a 14th gen Intel Core i9 processor, 64 gigs of DDR5 RAM, a 360 millimeter AIO cooler, and an RTX 4090, it's a powerhouse of a machine. And the MSI Maestro chassis ties everything together with a one piece, 270 degree tempered glass panel. That's nice. Check out the MSI Vision Elite RS at the link in the description. Now, if you were to ask me, can't you do most of this stuff elsewhere in Windows already? I would say yes, you're absolutely right. Many of the tasks we just discussed can be easily accomplished in either Task Manager or the Settings app, but we're not trying to say PC Manager is completely useless as making these settings more easily accessible, especially large and duplicate file scanners, could be more helpful for novice users who could be quickly overwhelmed by all the options present in the full fat versions of those programs. And indeed, Microsoft originally described this app as based on user pain points and a one-stop problem solving solution. So it sounds like they were fully aware that it largely replicates functionality, but that the point was to lend a hand to less experienced users who just want to way to try and quickly fix a sluggish PC or one that's running out of storage space. Of course, there's a more cynical take that Microsoft is trying to push its own services and take more control out of the hands of users. Earlier versions of the PC Manager app came under fire for saying that your system needed repair 
when you had a search engine other than Bing set as your default. And while it appears that this has been removed from the current version, it makes you wonder what Microsoft's real motivation for creating this app was. You could also look at the taskbar repair feature as another way for Microsoft to try and stop you from making too many customizations to your PC. Although you could ostensibly use it to try and remove a third party taskbar widget you installed accidentally. We all make mistakes. So would we recommend actually using PC Manager? We will say it doesn't seem to have the same downside of CCleaner in that there's less risk of accidentally breaking something as PC Manager doesn't do crap like clean up registry entries which have no detrimental effect on your system. It does also make a couple of tasks a bit easier as we previously discussed, but overall, we don't think it'll be all that useful for intermediate to advanced users, especially as features like health check don't tell you if something is actually wrong with your computer. But one big upside, it might reduce the number of questions you have to field if you're the family IT person. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Check out our other video on CCleaner, comment with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow TechWiki. We talk about this kind of stuff all the time. <laughs> okay.